Ngayon ay magsasagot naman tayo ng pagkuha ng derivatives ng mga transcendental functions na gamit ang chain rule. So, yung una nating function is sine 5x. So, problem number 1. We have y is equal to wherein u is 5x ito yun at ang derivative niya with respect to x is 5 is 5. Now, pinapakita ko lang yung u and du dx kasi alam natin na ang derivative ng sine u is cosine u times du dx. So, kung isa-substitute natin yung mga values na yan, ang cosine u natin is u is 5x, so we'll have cosine 5x times du dx which is 5. Kaya yung derivative ng y prime is 5 cosine 5x. So, yan yung pagkuha ng derivative ng ating trig functions, also known as the transcendental function, at pinakita ko yung progression kung paano kunin yung u at saka yung du dx, dx para magtugma doon sa formula na ginagamit natin sa calculus. Now, let's go ahead and answer problem number 2. So, problem number 2, we have y equals 10 3x squared. Ang u natin is 3x squared. At ang du dx natin, or derivative ng u with respect to x is 6x. So, para makita natin yung progression ng ating derivative. So, yung y prime, alam natin ang derivative ng tangent u ay tan, um, secant squared u du dx. So, let's write it down. Secant squared u times du over dx. So, so, alam na natin yung u is 3x squared. So, y prime is secant squared 3x squared times yung derivative natin which is 6x. So, ito yung derivative natin which we can further simplify by writing it as 6x secant squared 3x squared. So, yan yung derivative ng problem number 2. Now, yung number 3 naman. We have y, y equals secant 5x or square of secant 5x. Una muna, change natin siya into secant 5x raised to 1 half and using chain rule y prime is equal to 1 half times secant 5x to the negative 1 half times the derivative of secant 5x with respect to x. So, ito okay na siya. So, kunin na lang natin yung derivative ng secant 5x. So, alam natin yung u niya is 5x at ang du niya is 5. So, ang derivative ng secant ay secant u du dx. So, we'll have secant u um, secant u times tangent u times du dx. So, by plugging it in, u is 5x, so we have secant 5x tangent 5x multiplied by 5. So, ito yung derivative mula sa chain rule. Ito yung derivative natin dun sa secant 5x. So, pag sasamasamahin natin siya, so ang y prime natin will be equal to 1 half secant 5x raised to the negative 1 half multiplied by 5 secant 5x tangent 5x. So, ito ngayon yung derivative function natin. And if you want to further simplify this, since may negative exponent tayo, pwede natin siyang uh, ibalik sa square root function. So, y prime is equal to 5 secant 5x tangent 5x all over 2 times the square root of secant 5x. So, ito yung other version ng ating derivative, pero yung una nating sagot, eh, derivative function na rin. Now, yung pang-apat, 
kunin natin yung derivative ng sine cube 4x. So, yung function natin ay pwede natin i-rewrite kasi yung sine cube 4x is also equal to sine 4x to the third power. So, in this case, gagamitan natin siya ng chain rule and then mamaya yung derivative ng sine. So, y prime or f prime of x would be 3 times sine 4x to the second power times the derivative ng sine 4x with respect to x. So, alam natin na ang u ay 4x at ang du dx ay 4. Kasi ang derivative ng sine ay cosine uh, u. So, we have cosine u times du dx. So, ang u ay 4x, so cosine 4x times 4. So, ito yung derivative natin mula sa chain rule, at ito naman yung derivative natin mula sa sine x. So, um, y prime ay 3 sine 4x squared times 4 times cosine 4x. So, ito ngayon yung ating derivative. At yung panglima naman, meron tayong function na ln. So, yung ln, alam natin yung derivative ng ln is 1 over u du dx. So, let's go ahead and write it down. Number 5. y is ln 3x minus 4x squared. Once again, and derivative ng ln u ay 1 over u times du dx. So, from here, alam natin yung u natin ay 3x minus 4x squared. So, ang du dx natin, or derivative niya, ay 3 minus 8x. So, using our formula, y prime is equal to um, 1 over u, or yung, yung ddx nito is 1 over u times du dx. So, by plugging it in, 1 over u, which is 3x, squ 3x minus 4x squared, multiplied by du dx, which is 3 minus 8x. So, ito ngayon yung ating derivative function, which we can simplify as y prime is equal to 3 minus 8x all over 3x minus 4x squared. At ito yung mga paraan ng pagkuha ng derivatives ng trig functions or also, 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 also some transcendental functions.